LOCAL FATHER IS DEAD, HIT BY A CAR CAREENING OUT OF CONTROL AT 100 MILES AN HOUR. AND IT TURNS OUT THE MAN BEHIND THE WHEEL HAS A LONG HISTORY OF PROBLEMS WITH THE LAW. AND IN FACT, POLICE SAY HE NEVER SHOULD HAVE BEEN BEHIND THE WHEEL IN THE FIRST PLACE. WELCOME EVERYONE TO COIN 6 NEWS AT 5. I'M KELLY DAY. AND I'M JEFF GIANNOLA. AND THAT CRASH HAPPENED LAST NIGHT AT THE INTERSECTION OF HIGHWAY 26 AND SOUTHEAST HILLIARD ROAD OUT IN GRESHAM. CHRIS WOODARD, THERE LIVE. AND CHRIS, YOU'VE UNCOVERED SOME NEW INFORMATION ABOUT THE DRIVER. Yeah, Jeff, new information showing this driver, the man police say caused this crash, already had a long list of convictions behind the wheel. In fact, his license was suspended. Nevertheless, he was driving last night when police say he sped through this intersection, got into a crash right here. There is still debris scattered on the ground. And just up the hill, a memorial for the man that was killed, placed here about 10 minutes ago by his family. This is only two blocks from his home. 54 year old Donald Bard was a family man. A loyal Red Sox fan and U.S. Navy vet who was on his way home from Home Depot when his life was tragically cut short. Heard this big kaboom, and then the dogs are going crazy. He heard a crash, he ran to me. It is a traffic crash one witness calls horrifying. I jumped my fence, started running down here. Paul James quickly found himself in the middle of it. The cop is yelling for help because the Mercedes was on fire and he needed to break the window. And he, and he couldn't do it. Inside was 36 year old Sun Bear Raven. Police say he was driving recklessly 100 miles per hour down Highway 26 when he ran into Bard in his car. It's like taking a toy car, throwing it on the ground, and watching the pieces explode. And that's what the car looked like. I'd never seen anything like that in my entire life. And it almost made me want to throw up. Bard was dead at the scene. Raven was taken to the hospital and is still there in serious condition. Police say Raven caused the crash but shouldn't have been driving at all. His license was suspended. The mugshots and convictions reach back to 1996. Driving under the influence, refusal to take a breath test, stealing cars, attempting to elude police, and at least nine speeding tickets or red lights run. Ridiculous. An innocent person died again because someone was negligent. Witnesses outraged. He was being stupid. He was just being really stupid. And a son, father, grandfather, and husband killed while simply trying to make it home from the store. Uh, at this point, Raven is still in the hospital. Police say no arrests have been made, no charges filed yet, but I did talk to the police spokesperson here in Gresham this afternoon, and he said charges are likely. Live in Gresham, I'm Chris Woodard for Coin 6 News. Thank you, Chris.